my wheels are way out of alignment. I can't actually believe how much difference a four wheel alignment has made. Hello and welcome back to the channel and to another video. Today we are gonna get straight into it. We're going over to Bram Racing in Castleford and we're gonna get a full four wheel alignment on the Audi. So a little bit about, actually, do you know what? Before we get into this, I'm gonna need a coffee. Much better. Before we get started, if you are new here, then please consider subscribing. Get involved, join the journey. There's gonna be loads of stuff happening to this car. Obviously, we've got four wheel alignment today. Next week, we're getting some new tires and a little twist on the wheels. Also, give a thumbs up for the clean car. When was the last time you saw this car clean? Unbelievable. So what is four wheel alignment, I hear you ask, and why would you get it done? Now, this is actually something that unbeknown to me, you're actually meant to get done once a year. There's a lot of reasons for getting four wheel alignment. One is that if your car is tracking left or right, if it's pulling, basically that is because your wheels are out of a line. One of the other things is if you've got poor miles per gallon, it could be because your wheels aren't aligned. Your back wheels might not be aligned to your front one, so it could be causing drag. And then the other one is uneven tire wear. So if you are getting uneven tire wear on the inside edge or the outside, the chances are you just need your wheels aligning. And that brings me to why I'm getting my wheels aligned. So this is the offending wheel, effectively. This has got a load of sort of tyre scrub, uneven wear on the inside edge. So quite clearly, my wheels are way out of alignment. Now, the other obvious thing is if you look at this car from the back, the rear wheels camber in quite considerably. Now, it hasn't got any sort of camber shims or plates or anything on. This is completely stock car. So again, that amount of camber really just needs sorting and realigning. So with all that said, let's leave it there, get over to Castleford, we'll get to Bram Racing, I'll explain everything that he's gonna do to the car and we shall see how it goes. But for now, I'll leave you in a time lapse and we'll get on route. Right, here we go then. We are on route to Bram Racing. I don't know if the microphone can actually pick that up, but the main reason for this is that my rear wheels, one of them worse than the other, are both really sort of castellated, or I know people call it like sawtooth tyre wear or whatnot, but basically it's where your tyre wears really unevenly. And instead of it being a circle, it ends up like, I don't know how to describe it, lumpy is probably the best word. And it almost sounds like you've got a wheel bearing gone, to be honest. It's that sort of like just low hum. Um, so yeah, so that is the main reason for going and getting this car aligned. Bottom line is, I bought some decent tyres and I do not want them wearing out on the inside edge within a year. Um, I've only got Toyota proxies on this at the minute. It's just what I came with when I bought it. But yeah, I've, uh, I've got a set of, of slightly better tyres to go on and yeah, I really don't want them wearing out like that. So yeah, we'll go down now. I'll, I'll just time lapse the journey there. Hopefully let's film a bit of it, show you sort of what it does. Mainly figure out how far wrong my car is. See you when we get there. Right, we have arrived. Wasn't too bad actually, about 45 minutes or so from where I was, so yeah, not too long. We'll go inside, see what's happening. There's a few cool uh, cars here. I think he does quite a lot of like off-road and there's a big souped up Land Rover that I've seen on his Facebook page. So yeah, we shall, I'll go inside now, so I'll just have a chat with them, see what we're doing. Um, ask if I'm allowed to film. If not, this will be a, a, a quick little clip to me 
on the way home. But yeah, hopefully let us film a little bit. But yeah, we'll go have a talk to him. See you this way. Peace. And there it is, we are completely sorted. All the wheels are aligned, and I tell you what, it does actually feel like a brand new car. It's been done about three days now. It got done on Wednesday, say Sunday, and to be honest, it's quite quite extraordinary actually how much it's changed a car. It feels absolutely planted. Obviously, the tire doesn't feel like it's dragging anymore, and my miles per gallon. I don't know if it's just totally by coincidence, but on the last couple of days that I've been to work and back, it's probably gone up by about six or seven miles per gallon. So it goes to show either just how much difference it makes or just how out mine was before. So if you remember from the start of the video, this was the offending wheel. And when we looked at it, it was that thrust angle and also the toe that was completely out. Now, I don't know if you can see here, but there it is, toe bang in the middle. And I'll put this basically on screen now and show you exactly how sort of bang on he's actually managed to get this. And that means that in the next episode where we're getting the new tires put on, basically it's all gonna be aligned. The tires are gonna wear evenly, they're gonna be balanced. It's just all gonna be good. I can't wait. So if we take a look at the before and after of this, but he has added a slight bit of toe. Obviously you see the camber has been brought down from 1.37 to 1.2 on the left and from 1.42 to 1.18 on the right. So quite a lot of camber taken off, lined up, and hopefully it should feel much better and planted for it. The toe on the rear left was absolutely fine, but the toe on the rear right has been really dialed in. Um, and yeah, you can see just how far that was out. Obviously it was 0 0.02 on the original sheet and it's 0 0.13 now. Again, slap bang in the middle of the manufacturer's recommendations, which brings the thrust angle down to 0 0.01, which is a main thing, and the total two from 0 0.13 to 0 0.25. So overall, I'm really chuffed with this. The car does, like I say, feel absolutely planted. It feels brand new. I can't actually believe how much difference a four wheel alignment has made. So there we go, it is all completely sorted. I'll leave all the details for Bram Racing down in the description below. I cannot rate him highly enough. He really took care, he explained everything that's going on. And obviously he gave me the before and the after and explained everything that he was doing so that it actually makes sense what you're doing and where your money's going. Huge shout out to Bram Racing for letting me film, come down and really sort me out. Make sure you stay tuned, smash that subscribe button, Give us a thumbs up because my cat, this, you'll never see this car this clean again, I guarantee you. This is, and it hasn't rained for two days. So give us a thumbs up for the clean car. Leave a comment down below if you've got any misalignment issues or what you've done to get it sorted. Have you been to Bram Racing? Have you been somewhere else? Who can you recommend? Leave it in the comments below and I shall see you in the next one.